Today we're going to talk about the differences between co-founding and the effect modification. Before we go into examples and I will, I will demonstrate to you the differences, let's talk about the principles or the foundation of each one. Let's start with co-founding. Um, co-founding means, means uh, it's a factor that that present in my study that affect the exposure and the outcome so co-founding it's a it's a factor or sometimes it's called variable that affect the exposure And the outcome so let's say I have treatment um, uh, poison or whatever and I have an outcome which is a disease let's say here is smoking smoking lead to lung cancer very typical very typical example right the co-founding factor, remember this, this is very important. The co-founding factor that it's a it's a factor that would affect the outcome. Let's change the uh, number uh, the color. Uh, it's affect it's affect the outcome and it affect the exposure. Okay? Remember this, this is very important. This is the basic, this is the foundation uh, of, of, the, of the differences. Now, let's go to effect modification. Effect modification, it's a variable that, um, that affect only the outcome. I have here outcome, like a disease, like a lung cancer. Okay, and I have here exposure, maybe treatment, exposure. So exposure lead to a specific outcome. Effect modification has only, only uh, effect on the outcome. It has no effect here. No only in that direction another point it's very important point you need to remember remember these are basics the foundation the differences between both of these something else you have to remember co-founding factor is a factor that a nuisance factor or a nasty factor or a disturbing factor that I need to get rid of. It's a factor that's affecting my study. It's disturbing my study. I don't want it in my study. I have to figure out this co-founding factors. Um, 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 so I need to get rid of it, or at least I need to know it's there. So, second point, we need to find this co-founding factor the reason for that it's alarming it's alarming we need to put it in the garbage we don't want it in our on our study put it in the garbage remember that unlike the effect modification an effect modica modification I need to find it because it's important for me to remember effect modification it's a nice guy very nice gentle guy you need to find it in your study because this guy gonna help you in your study you will know this guy either has a positive effect or negative effect you need it in your study you need to identify it while in 
co-founding you need to put it in the garbage you don't want it you don't want that that's uh, that's that's factor it's disturbing your your uh, your study it's make you bitter you don't like it you don't want it so this is a second important point you need to remember third important point you need to remember as well um, there's something called stratification so in your study when you first uh, for first time you starting and studying you will let's say you say that um, there is an exposure you studying an exposure and you have an outcome without any introduction you have an exposure and you have an outcome this is called a crude study so you have an exposure you have an outcome let's say you have uh, you have an alcohol alcohol and you have uh, urinary bladder cancer okay so in your study you find that there's an association between exposure and the outcome means you are seeing in your study people who drink in alcohol they are um, um, having urinary bladder cancer now if you're gonna try to find uh, or analyze co-founding factors let's say you have um, with the exposure which is the alcohol you add co-founding factor which is smoking and you study it again and you found people who smoke and drink alcohol they don't buy necessary having urinary cancer urinary, urinary bladder cancer by the way I'm just giving you here an example now by necessary this is true just an example we can use uh, for example um, let's if we change that and we change that to, to another example I will give you later like um, uh, 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 oral cancer okay so people who drink drink alcohol they they develop your crude study here here and in, in this part when you when when people drink alcohol they develop oral cancer this is the crude study now stratification start when you try to analyzing factors that you suspect it might affect positively or negatively your your study so if you add a smoking remember remember the co-founding affecting exposure and the outcome so people who drink alcohol um, um, let's take the oral cancer people who drink alcohol they develop oral cancer okay you found strong association here while people who do not drink I'm sorry people who drink alcohol and do not smoke no smoking they still develop oral cancer in my stratified my, my stratified analysis so crude again crude export uh, crude studying you're studying um, exposure and outcome the exposure is alcohol and here you have oral cancer right now when you analyzing or stratifying your study and add smoking as a variable you're gonna find people who smoke and drink alcohol develop oral cancer people who did not smoke and drank they develop oral cancer remember the basics the co-founding which is the smoking here affect my exposure and my outcome by other words 
people who smoke they will drink so they will develop oral cancer again people who smoke they will drink so will they have oral cancer as well smoking can cause itself oral cancer so you have double impact smoking increase alcoholism or increase alcohol drinking therefore it's increasing oral cancer as well as smoking increase oral cancer so see here's here's my co-founding it's affecting both the exposure and the outcome now my second group this one people here they don't smoke but did that affect my outcome no people who are still drinking but without smoking still developing oral cancer notice that and remember and try to memorize that in my stratifying studying for the co-founding the absence or a presence of co-founding co which is smoking here does not affect the outcome again the co-founding variable or co-founding factors which is smoking here in this study does not affect my outcome my outcome people here still developing oral cancer despite of the presence or absence of smoking if so this is co-founding factors the question sometimes asks you like oh so we have these people exposed to alcoholism and these people um, uh, did not uh, um, um, did not expose uh, to alcoholism or 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 they they were smoking and the other group they did not smoke and um, so what do you think like the question would say oh and stratify what do you think the outcome will be equal and equal and etc let's have another example remember let's say um, I'm gonna do a crude study at the beginning crude study let's say um, uh, female who taken oral contraceptive pills develop breast cancer typical example okay now this is my crude study my stratified study which I go in, in, in analyzing more to find if there's correlations or bias or, or confounding factor and I picked a positive family history history okay so when I study the group again and the ones who the one who have um, positive family history and took OCB they had breast cancer okay while the one who had negative family history and they took OCB or contraceptive pills they did not have breast cancer hmm remember apply the first principle the effect modification the effect modification it's only affect the outcome by other words by other words family history positive family history positive family history here it has only an impact of breast cancer more family history will increase the breast cancer but that will not affect the exposure which is the OCP why think about it doesn't mean if you have positive family history that it will take your OCP first not. So this is an option this is an option if you have an OCP if you if you start to take an OCP and you have positive 
if you have positive family history, then you will develop the cancer. So it's only increase this or affect this, but it will not affect this. And if you have negative family history, that will affect that, so you will not have breast cancer despite of your taking OCP. Can you recognize something in the in the in the stratified study between co-founding and effect modification? The presence or the absence of this factor or or this variable affect the outcome. The presence of this variable lead to this. Absent this lead to no disease. While in effect, while I'm sorry, while while in confounding factor, the presence or absence always lead to this all the time. All the time. It's there. It's there. Confounding. Remember this. Confounding in the stratified study, the outcome always the same. Confounding in strat stratified study, the outcome always the same. I'll give you few quick example to to uh, uh, emphasize emphasize more the, the the explanation another example um, let's say my crude study starts by um, sun exposure sun exposure which is the exposure my exposure and skin melanoma This is my crude study. This is my crude study. Okay, I am finding strong association between this and that. Now, I want to try to find is this is this or there are the variable I'm going to add is it co-founding or effect modif modification or effect modification modification sorry. So, let's say positive family history. People who have positive family history of melanoma, they have, they still have skin cancer, which is melanoma, with sun exposure. So, my exposure is sun rays, and my outcome is skin melanoma. With with positive family history lead to increase skin melanoma. And and I study other group who've been exposed to the sun exposure. And they had negative family history. But I could not find association. They did not have skin melanoma. Now I want you to apply the the principle. My stratified study, the outcome changed. So is that effect effect modification study or co-founding? Is that Factor of this variable, my extra extra variable that I try to study, is it effectively modifying my study, or it's confounding? Since my outcome they don't match, this is effect modification. And as well, my uh, my variable affecting my outcome only. Let's take another example. Let's say that you study people who drink coffee, they develop lung cancer. Okay? So your exposure is coffee and, and, and your outcome is lung cancer. This is your crude study. Now when you're going, going to stratify it and you add another variable, let's say smoking, and no smoking.
people who people who smoke and drink coffee they still have lung cancer and people who do not smoke and drink coffee they still have lung cancer remember this affect this and that and this affect this and that so in a brief who smoke they're gonna drink coffee so they're gonna have lung cancer not because they're drinking coffee but because they smoke and that will increase the caffeine intake they will have lung cancer and as as well as well here and since my variable does not affect the outcome which is the lung cancer this is a co-founding study I hope that help you to understand the difference between uh, effect modification and co-founding study thank you for watching